since Sarah Langer graduated with a degree in psychology with marketing as one of her subjects, she's used both to become a major pioneering force in content creation. Recognizing how her work has to adapt to this economic climate, she's now at the forefront of creating realistic, authentic content that is still all about quality. Hey guys, my name is Sarah Langa and I am here at Rosebank. We've been here since 8 a.m. And guess what? I'll be having you join me the whole day as I get up to all of my favorite things from shooting content to meetings, to Pilates, to cooking. I'm super excited to have you guys with me today. With artificial intelligence beginning to generate more content, you still can't beat a relatable person at the center of every post as Sarah displayed in her Pilates session with Monique Martinengo. Fitness has been a part of my journey for the past two years. I've been exploring all the different ways that I can make my body stronger and feel better. And I think I started Pilates about 10 months ago with Mon and I have loved it ever since. Like it's a part of my workout routine that I think I enjoy the most in the week because not only does it make me feel stronger, but it makes me feel amazing. I'm just able to understand my body better. And I love the fact that also it's an educational journey. I learned so much about my body there is something so unique and wonderful about Sarah. She's got the most beautiful spark, but she really embodies that student mindset. She wants to learn. She wants to understand what she's doing. And as a Pilates instructor, that is just like the best client to have. Thumbs hang out, long fingers, take a breath in. Right leg exhale, tabletop, left leg tabletop. Squeeze knees, squeeze ankles, inhale. Inhale, bend in the elbow, there we go. Exhale, straighten your arms, breathe out. So what keeps me going would be the motivation that I have within me. As much as I have goals that I've achieved, there's always something new that I'm working towards. I have the spirit of constantly evolving and I wake up in the morning knowing that all of the things that I fail today are things that are my goals for tomorrow. They're things that I want to achieve for tomorrow. So that's definitely what keeps me going. Just knowing that like, even when I've reached my floor, even when I've reached the peak of what I want to reach, I create a new peak. And um, also seeing myself evolve into so many different people, seeing myself um, achieve all the things that I want to achieve keeps me going because it makes me realize that I can actually do it and I can do more. That was super challenging, but that is what I love the most about Pilates. Every time I come here, I feel like I'm able to challenge myself, push my boundaries and become stronger and healthier. And I feel so amazing afterwards. For all the time that Miss Langer spends posting about fitness routines, new restaurants or fashion weeks, her home life is a major attraction too. Hi guys, welcome to my three in one personal home, workplace, and also my everyday studio. I absolutely love art and I'm obsessed with African themed art and African artists. So I've made sure to collaborate with a lot of local artists and designers. As you see, I have some African artifacts. I have this incredible artist, Lulama Wolf, who's a personal friend of mine. And I had to have one of her biggest pieces hanging on my wall. To me, it's important because it creates character. It kind of lets people know who I am and the things that I love. So it was important that I brought a lot of personal elements, pieces that I selected myself even though I had interior designers, to be able to bring a flair of my own personality. This is the living room lounge area. I brought House of Amica in to put together a lounge pocket that was going to be not only functional, but also that was going to bring in different textures and also be, you know, neutral enough for me to use for my shoots, for different types of shoots and different themes. The one way that I'm able to channel my mind into knowing that I'm home is through fragrance. So a lot of the spaces in my home will always have diffusers, candles. I also have a lot of incredible home sprays so that when I know that it's time to switch off, I'll take the home fragrance and spray it around. And it just does something. It tells me that like, now it's time to switch off and now you're at home and you know, now you can feel relaxed. So one of the things that I wanted to achieve when putting my home together was to be able to have tones, textures, and colors that can basically complement anyone, anything. I want anyone to come to my home and feel at home. 
which includes any musical guests having full license to play a tune and create a little dinner theater. So next we have the dining room area. So one thing about me, I love cooking. So the dining room area is complementary of my hobby. I love cooking, I love serving, I love being able to host friends. And I think outside of shooting content in my home, this is the one space that a lot of people that I love get to experience the most. So yeah, this is my most favorite area. It's really chill. I wanted to create a space where people are not afraid to make a mess. I want people to spill wine on the carpet and I won't even be mad, so <laughs> don't spill wine on my carpet though. <laughs> One of my favorite places in the house has to be this space right here, my kitchen. Now, this is where all the business happens. This is probably one of my most used spaces. I make all of my dishes and I love cooking. I prepare a meal for myself every single day here. And because I knew you guys were coming, I had to make one of my favorite dishes and I'm taking it back home to my roots. One of the dishes that my mom used to prepare for me all the time, samp. And mm, it smells so good. Let's just wait and let that simmer for a bit while I continue to show you the rest of the house. Last but not least, I have to show you one of my most incredible spaces. Everyone that visits me loves this space. This is my reading lounge. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know I'm an academic at heart. I love studying. In actual fact, I'm about to embark on a new journey of studying interior design because of how passionate I am about this. I created this space to be able to really unwind, sit down and be able to read a book, read news in the morning, be able to read magazines. And as you see over here is my wall of fame. Another art feature that I really love is my little lioness, which was gifted to me by Mops. We did an espresso campaign together and part of the sustainability of the brand was to create art using old recycled coffee capsules. This couch is designed by House of Amica. We sat together and we kind of came up with a concept of a couch that would be a three-seater, be able to be compatible, very light in color, great textures, but also not too fragile. She designed this piece for me and we call it the cloud couch. Um, I was one of the first people to have it, but you can order it on her online store. Smart enough to learn from the best, Sarah asked the interior decorating team of Naledi Kaswa and Peter Lekhanyane to set the scene. So the brief that we received from Sarah was uh, so that we can create a very open plan space where she can shoot content as she's a content creator and she must be able to shoot at home because it was fresh off of the heels of COVID. So what we then looked at is working the space for uh, content creation. Um, really looking at how the space would work well when she's shooting at home. So that's where now we came in and redesigned the layout for her. We analyzed the area that she was in. So when we walked in, the space was very dark and it had some elements of citrus. So we wanted to make the space a bit light and very airy. So when coming in, we advised that, okay, for content creation, it is always better to have some neutral lighting and to lighten up the space. So that was the approach that we took to the entire space that we had. Working with Sarah was quite easy. She's an easygoing person. She was quite straightforward and she was open with the level of work that we produced. It was a very enjoyable project because even with the fabrics, she was willing to do fabrics that are trending and she wasn't afraid to do uh, things that are a fad. And she was saying that she's open to reupholstering in future. So it was easy to work with someone like that, that is willing to take advice from us as manufacturers in terms of what works best for the type of design that she wants. So it was nice to work with someone that is able to take advice from professionals in the certain space. So style is very important to me because as you see, I am never caught off camera. So I have to make sure that I can always have fashionable iconic moments like anywhere, even in the kitchen. So over here we have some oxtail um, with carrots and beans, we have green beans. It smells so good. 
being a content creator in an industry that was not even like a thing like we created this industry it was super hard work we had to allow people to build the confidence in what we're trying to do we had to do it for free for like maybe three four years and it's purely because of passion like i started off doing this because i was passionate about it i loved fashion i loved beauty i loved you know skincare and being able to share information with people was what i loved it was never because it was a job and i think that is the one thing that like i want to approach even in the next phase in my life i want to be able to find something that i'm extremely passionate about because the rewards come in the passion the rewards come in doing what you love and not what you get out of it after a decade in an industry which demands that you break new ground daily, Sarah Langer remains ahead of the pack.